Yeah. They are now. Yep. Slash chicken fence poles. <laughs> yeah. I got us all a set. Sweet. Got the chickens taken care of this morning. The tents seem to be okay. We'll just have to stay on top of the chickens because the water, I poured it and it's 10 minutes freezing. later it was already freezing on the top, slushing. So I dug the slush out maybe every hour or so until the sun starts coming up. Yeah. We're not supposed to get much in the way of sun today, but. Well, is we'll there see. more rain later? Yes. Oh. Rain and snow later. Uh, yay, so we got through the first portion. Mm -hmm. uh, we do think we're pretty prepared. We got enough water storage. Mm -hmm. We went to town yesterday, picked up some more items um, that, it, that we didn't necessarily need. So um, We're not traveling now. Yeah, we're definitely not traveling now. I think we're pretty prepared to buckle down for a few days if need be. Mm-hmm. Just maintain the property, which is all we do anyways. Yeah. It's just more difficult when it's like this. It is a little bit more difficult to maintain things when it's so slippery, but yeah. I think we'll manage uh, through this storm all right. The sucky thing about this kind of weather is uh, the bathroom plumbing freezes up. So yeah, I don't understand. None of the yeah. other ones do, just the bathroom. It's yeah. The wind must be hitting it from that side or something, or the water line is just e exposed in a fashion that's not very insulated. Yeah. Actually, I think uh, that last hard freeze we had, the whole camper froze, didn't it? Mm -hmm. In one day. Yeah. You know what we did? Hours. Our resolution was the hair blow dryer. Yeah. It helps. Yep. Well, you guys, everybody's doing well this morning. We are going to go ahead and go back in the camper. Um, it's about 20 degrees. Yeah, I don't know. I think it said 20 degrees when I came out. So we're going to go in and warm up. Hey, everyone. Welcome to the channel. I'm Denise. And I'm Marcel. And it's all Grady. And cold. Yeah. We are finally starting to get some melting, which means we got our water filled up and we're going to get showers. Nope. That tree in the background is the one we fell, but... Two of them. There's yeah, two of them, but this one fell on its own. And that last one fell the wrong way. Yep. It was totally not supposed to fall like that. What we're gonna have to do now is figure out how to drag it out. Yeah. So this branch went all the way into the pond. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but it looks like everything that we've done thus far has held. But not all the snow has melted. We'll probably get more rains. We haven't been tested yet. We'll find out. Well, the pond's not going to fill up more than what the spillway will allow now. Right. If you looked at some of the other footage that we had of the pond from last year in the high waters, there was a pond over here too because it just stopped it from flowing down. So it allowed it to get too high. It may already be too low here now. We may have to come back in and fill this portion of the dam back up. Yeah. To get it to uh, stop spilling over or dig more of the spillway out. It is quite washed out here. It's, so Yeah. There's actually looks like maybe there's probably almost a foot difference in elevation. Yep. Well, well. Yeah. It's icy. It's still a little cold. Mm -hmm. It's a little breezy. We might be a little rambunctious right now, but. Well, we got this beautiful day and we're gonna take advantage of it by working on the house build. Yes. So what do we got on the agenda for the house build first? We, we got some water on the slab that we need to 
to get off and there's like part of it is still ice skating rink yeah so we got to try to get some of that off so it's not dangerous to work there mm -hmm. and we gotta straighten up those poles there's no way those poles went through that big storm two of them and didn't shift and didn't shift something yeah, yeah. so we're gonna fix those mm -hmm. we're gonna pull the string and by the end of that we'll know whether we're gonna legitimately set any blocks today all right so today is our first day that we could set blocks it's gonna be somewhere around 60 60 degrees today but we're just coming out of freezing so it's one step at a time baby yeah so let's see what this morning brings us we're gonna yeah. go ahead and go straighten up them stringer poles yeah let's get up there and get yeah. after it before this sun goes away it's gonna be beautiful the days are getting long good the coming no i didn't say anything just cut that part out just leave that part where i say just cut that part out they'll be wondering what the heck we're talking about all right let's go it's been cold the last few days and crummy and it's been awesome though because we were able to sit down and compile an 18 month video for you guys we'll make that easy for you by giving you a description somewhere yeah and you'll see a picture of the video yep here or there mm -hmm. who knows i'll leave it for you in the end yeah or right there you might have just seen it i don't even know <laughs> The creator's right here. Yeah. Alright guys, so we're going to go ahead and just jump into plumbing these things up so we can get started for the day. The days are getting longer, so we're going to go ahead and try to take advantage of as many good days as we can. As y'all may know, spring is on its way. And with spring here comes a lot of rain. So we're going to go ahead and make sure we take advantage of all these days that we got before spring comes and after spring is summer which is hot so you know with each season we have new challenges right now it's good temperatures good weather um, despite some of the freezing and snow that we get so we're gonna go ahead and jump into what we got going on today guys all right
everyone. What a day it has been. But we kicked some butt today. Heck yeah. Um, we got all the way from that. Over there, there was two blocks. This corner. And then... The front and the other end. And we still got day left. Yeah, the I days are getting longer. Couldn't help but to notice that the days are getting longer. Mm -hmm. Sun's coming up a little earlier. It's going down a little later. Yep. We're going to shoot for a longer day tomorrow. We don't have to mess around with none of this cleaning ice off the slab tomorrow. Yeah. You just saved me like six blocks, baby. <laughs> Plus, we don't have to fix these poles, hopefully. Mm -hmm. Now we do have a little bit more of the ground frogulating. So we could have more shifting. So if but that's not a big deal. Yeah. Right, it's not a big deal to, to adjust those real quick. No. So I think that we push tomorrow and we see if we can't get two thirds of this thing done in a day. That'd be cool. Yeah, because otherwise we need 28 more days. Man, I ain't trying to wait another <laughs> six months because that's what it is. Like, we got a couple days and the rain. Yeah. And a couple days and then the rain again. Mm -hmm. You know, so the seasons are never going to be in our favor. This is like in our favor right, right now because hot is coming. Mm -hmm. And I don't care what kind of work I'm going to be doing when it's hot. I don't want to do any of it. The only work I like to do in the heat is air conditioning and napping. <laughs> it is pretty rough in the summer, so you got to get everything done either early or late. So the hours in the summer change drastically. Yeah, but that's uh, everywhere. Yeah, and we ain't trying to be out here working on this in the hot sun. No, Oof. I'll be glad to be done with the block. Mm -hmm. Now, what's going to be a bummer is we'll be doing roofing in yeah. the hot sun. But there's not a lot of roof to this house, so it's yeah. going to be slam and jam. Mm-hmm. I'm so excited to be done with this. Like, we're halfway there today. We are legitimately halfway there. Yep. So tomorrow morning when we come up here, first thing we do is we pull some measurements. Mm -hmm. We're going to check and double check and make sure we still got a good square going. Mm -hmm. And our measurements. Because we're doing a little bit in and out, and that's just what happens. Right. Right? But it's such a small amount that, that you know... It shouldn't be difficult to get anything that could be out, out. We got this much all over again to be able to get anything out that we have done wrong or that we haven't gotten out yet. Right now, I mean, it's really hard to tell, but I mean, we're so good that, but here's what happens. See, it's just blocks are never perfect, but look at that. Kablamma llama jam bam. That's right. Da -da 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 -da. <laughs> Right here. So anyways, we could be out somewhere, right? What is that? Oh God, it's so, what is that? It's good, yeah? Look at that, that looks, that looks, oh, well, that looks good. Yeah, it's beautiful. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah. And then you can check like across the disc away. Yeah, see, a little bit of, a little bit of concern there for me, yeah. See, I want to make sure that we get all of that kind of stuff out. See, it's just a smidgen. Well, right now we've gone seven rows and we've learned how to do a wall in seven rows, right? So any mistakes that we have made now as far as plumb level and square, you know, because we could be pushed off a little bit. This might not be 30 feet wide no more. It might be, you know, 29 feet, 11 and three quarters of an inch. We might be a quarter of an inch shy, right? So we have this many rows again to get any mistakes out that we may have made, which we certainly have made some mistakes. So we you have. just seen it. I just showed you the level is out just by a smidgenator. Yeah. And it's probably just the level because I ain't used a, a square level ever on any of our jobs. Well, I mean... I think that these have shifted, but you've maintained the in and out pretty good, so. Yeah, there's not much we can be out. We can't be, like if we were getting too far out, it would be noticeable. Yeah. Now that we're halfway, it gives us an opportunity to see what our walls are. We're gonna take measurements 
and make sure that we're still in the right numbers. Yeah, what I might do is bring up the laser again mm -hmm. and shoot it mm -hmm. on this wall all the way around mm -hmm. and we can see where it hits. Okay. And we can hope that it hits pretty close because what we might get is some, this side could be a little lower than this side and I want to know that. Yeah. Right? It shouldn't be. That's that's why we did the stringer pulls and we did one row at a time because we're not skilled enough to build up multiple rows, right? And then work off of that. Right. I can get into too much trouble doing that. So yeah. we went one row each time. So I can't get too far out. But right. wherever I am now, we should be able to get back in. And I just don't see. there. It's just fluff here, fluff there. These walls are, you float a man and you float the block this way and that away and bam, you got a basement. Yeah, so we're within the parameters. It's, it's looking beautiful. Yeah, like looking one good. more block and I won't be able to see over it. You'll be able to see the top of my head, but one more block and we're inside, baby. We can move in if we were just wanted to <laughs> crouch down a little bit. Heck yeah. And no ducting or nothing. Mm, no, I don't think so. Yeah. We had a small basement in Denver and it was about this half. This yeah, time. we're lucky that mm -hmm. we're short people, but mm -hmm. it was still, you had to crouch a little. Yeah, feel small. Stuff. Yeah. This basement is not going to be that way. You're going to have plenty of headroom. And we made it as tall as we did, which is like nine foot four or nine foot, so whatever 14 rows of eight inch block equals. Right. We're going to have all of that minus the ducting. The ducting, which is about a foot. Now you can get some smaller stuff and we could probably get some smaller stuff too, but I gave myself a foot and I still have a high ceiling down there. So if we want to put a ceiling fan down here, we can. Nice. You won't walk into it and be like, bat, 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 bat. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, yeah. <laughs> you know. <laughs> Especially for tall people. Oh man. <laughs> My poor boy, he'd get. Yeah. Get it takes, every time. It takes, Take little his scalp off, right? Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah we don't need hair. Yeah. Uh, how funny. Yeah, but that way we can do. It gives us options, and there's only going to be one wall that's going to be more costly to do it this way because two by fours don't come out that size, right? Right. So we'll have to either buy two by four by tens, or we just do like a, an extension you know to make up the difference right but we're, we're not gonna need it but because this is such a big span we're going to on our two by six wall we're going to use that to support the the spring it'll dampen the spring in the floor upstairs so that'll go all the way from the ground all the way up and the rest of them are just gonna float they're just gonna be floating walls because there's no need to go all the way up our ceiling is going to be a drop ceiling because I want it to have access always to that stuff. Mm -hmm. So it's going to be sweet, man. Mm -hmm. We'll only put a ceiling where it's needed. Yeah. The rest of it could stay exposed. I'm cool with that, man. We're going to, it's going to look good. It's not going to look like our last basement that was, I don't know who was the one, but it took us like 90 gallons of paint to paint. The, oh, maybe not that much. Sorry, sorry, be sorry. So the, Two by six wall that we're talking about is going to be um, through the middle of the house, and that's going to give us a little bit of extra bracing, which we don't need, but it'll carry some of the weight um, of any of the other, you know, it'll help out. Yeah. It'll take the spring out of mm. the floor. Less squeaking. Less squeaking in the spring, because this is quite the span, you know, 30 is. feet is quite the span. Now, we were going to try to do the those special floor joists but we decided against it yeah seven thousand dollars was just too much for floor joists that's yeah. before any subflooring or anything just the floor joist was seven thousand so we decided against it because i can buy all of it for like three thousand so and do it ourselves it's just 
So what typically would happen is you would end up drilling through it all, right, to run and your... And just making it like Swiss cheese yeah, anyway. Yeah, that's what's nice about the $7,000 ones, right? You can yeah. run all your plumbing and all your piping right and all your it. ducting through it, and it keeps it above you. So you can do an eight-foot ceiling, yeah? Yeah. Because you're going to give yourself another two foot. But it's just so expensive. It's just too expensive. So what I've done is it was cheaper to go up another row or two with block, and I can hang everything below Right. And we don't have to drill through yeah. and turn it into Swiss cheese. So, I mean, that's the plan for the ceiling. But as far as the rest of the house goes, it's all tentative. Um, yeah, we haven't really made any final decisions on no. the layout. So, No, we've got Just the bathrooms 40. and the kitchen. Everything that has a sink or a toilet, we know where that's going. Because yeah. <laughs> the plumbing's in. Yeah, the plumbing's in. Yeah. Otherwise... You know, we got a little bit of room to play around and see what we want to do with it. Yeah. Yeah, because we got 30 by 40. Mm -hmm. For now, for the purposes of our needs, I think uh, we just built Gage's bedroom down here. Our bedroom's upstairs. Right. And this is our, our weather wall. This is our security wall. Everything. Mm -hmm. This is going to be like bullet. So, so we beefed up this room quite a bit. It's got rebar everywhere. Yeah. And it's going to be strong. So when there's big storms, mm -hmm. this will be the corner of the house that we come to to, mm -hmm. to seek shelter. Or outside in the storm shelter. Yeah. But. We considered which room we would want. I mean, it would make more sense to a lot of people to go to that back room. But we chose this one for a reason. For Specific. one... The storms come from that that way most of the time. And for two, we want a way to get out. Yeah. And that's this the most has got important. a window. So because yeah. what happens when the house falls on you and you're in the back downstairs? Yeah. How do you get out? And the house is on fire now. Right? And a tornado in. Right? <laughs> Jeez, babe. <laughs> so this is what you have to think about, right? Yeah. So I thought about it and I'm like, no way, Jose. We got this room over here has got two windows. What we'll do is storm season, we'll put shutters up there that are storm rated. Yeah. We'll overdo it. Right? And this that's what this hive will be for. Yeah. And then if we needed to get out, we still have access to the outside world. Because tornado is probably not going to do much damage here. House damage, probably. That's it. There's too many trees to block all the... What gets you is all the flying debris. And when you got a whole forest, it stops a lot of those debris, I think. I'm yeah. no tornado specialist, though. I just know I'm scared of them. Mm -hmm. So that's our plan for the shelter. We also have an alternative plan down the line that we're going to work on. But right now we're keeping everything, you know, kind of oriented. We need a shelter. We have a lot of those seasons where, you know, we just want to be in a safe room. So Yeah. Ideally, you want to be outside of your house and a distance away. Right. Because when it does wreck your house, it's in like a certain parameter. parameter that usually. all the debris usually. are. And yeah. So you don't want your roof on top of the door. So you don't want it right outside, I don't think. But you also don't want to have to run all the way across the yard too far. Yeah. Who wants to do that, man? <laughs> Most of the time, you don't even get a very much of a warning. Yeah, that's so. true. Yeah. So it's it's a blessing that the days are getting longer and warmer. Um, we're going to get started much earlier tomorrow. We're so. going to try to get started much earlier tomorrow. Yeah. Well, I procrastinate quite a bit in the mornings, but yeah. that's because I always got something to do. So I just tell you that you don't get all this without a little bit of work in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> well, everyone, it has been such a good work day today. Um, we had a great four days, even though it was cold and freezing temperatures. That last storm, the ice storm, wasn't too bad for us. But we did get a video, a time-lapse video, of 18 months on our homestead. Yeah, we got a lot of stuff done. Yep. It's amazing to me to see the transformation is crazy. 
It is. So if you guys have not already caught it, be sure to check it out. We'll leave it right there, you wherever guys. Wherever it goes. Be, yeah, wherever it goes. Be sure to check that video out. Yeah, because you don't have to go back and watch the first ones. They're harder to watch because Babes is getting better. Yeah. Right? So, But this one is a pretty good one. Mm -hmm. And it's she almost got everything in there. Mm -hmm. yeah. We're talking 18 months of stuff. Yeah. It, it it took quite a bit, but it was such a, a joy and an honor to be able to put something like that together. Because um, mm -hmm. this journey is just amazing, and I'm so blessed to be able to share it with my husband and all of you guys. Um, so thank you guys for tagging along and sticking with us, even though in the beginning those videos were not that good. You know, I realized that after real <laughs> reviewing some of them. Yeah, but and, like anything, we get better as we yeah. do stuff. It's The videos are all part of the journey, baby. Mm -hmm. so. But they were fun. I had a lot of fun making them in yeah. the beginning, but it's amazing to see how far they've actually come. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of that is due to the feedback we get from you guys. Yeah, so let us know. We're not scared. My skin is not thin. Just don't talk about my hair. Nah, you can talk about whatever you want. <laughs> We take criticism very well because we always want to be better. Mm -hmm. I want to be better next time. And I know that you can't see your nose, your own nose is the, fr unless you're looking at the camera like I am right now, I can see my nose. But the opinion of others sometimes helps. Yeah. So keep those comments coming, you guys. Oh, yeah, we right. really appreciate them. Um, any helpful tips or something you may just want to drop in them comment section. Yeah. I'd like to say what's up. Yeah, just say, if you just want to drop a hi down there, go ahead and drop that in the comments section. But be sure to give us a big thumbs up, you guys. Yeah. Ring that notification bell. Yeah, that's a good idea. Share our videos. That's what I do. I share them right away. Yep. 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 That's what I do, seriously. Share, share, share. That's what I do. All right, you guys. It was awesome. Yeah, thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you on the next one. Bye. Peace. Dinner time. Yeah, yeah. Go. Hey, everyone. If you're just tuning in, we are a small family of three. And we're on 25 acres trying to build a homestead. Yeah. I couldn't describe it any better myself. Welcome. Welcome. Yeah. And for everyone else, thanks for welcome. coming back. Yeah. Welcome back. Yeah, welcome back. And welcome. Yeah.